just what I need. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. We can't rely on the Harpers. Not when Orin has them infested with shapeshifters. We're on our own. Though... I suppose we're used to it by now. I hope so. So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? <sighs> Isn't there a human crest she can join? Yes! You've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Inconceivable that we would seek release from one tadpole only for you to commune with another. I chide you if my mind were not consumed by the sight of Orpheus within his domed prison. The Prince of the Comet lives, but make no mistake. I can see the change in you, feel the parasite worming its way through you even further. You have invited your own misery. I will not break our alliance for it, but I will not condone it. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not keep me waiting. Even the venerable Harpers are compromised by the Absolute's poison. A grim turn of events, but one we must take in our stride. With pleasure, lead on.
let's move. If your lot have cracked another bloody cask, I... They're dead, Intharl. Doppelgangers were using them as bait. Seems they snared more than they could skin in you. Or did Geraldus survive? Alive. But he'll need some time to recover. I'll tuck the boy up tight till he's ready to get back to Harpering. What will you do? Continue the hunt. Aye. Silly question, I suppose. What do you need? Short Father, bless you. No time to rest. Moving ahead. The Absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mistra further, I'm glad it didn't come to that, given what has come to light. Hardly. I'm more than glad. The Elder Netherese. Ma Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed. I know what nearly that we need, as luck would have it. We'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. So ha! you'll have to. Wearing armor to meet my mother and dancing acts of my own. Simple movement. My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be... What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Right you are! I'll just find something to punch, I guess. It won't hurt, will it? No, surely not. That watches through me. Very well. Roar! 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 Are you scared? Did you wet your pants? Did you? Did you? That's right! You got it! Yay! So how did I do? Are you quaking in your boots with fear? Uh, appreciate the honesty. Whew. Oh well. Back to the narbing board. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear! It isn't? Shoot. Uh, what did you think anyway? Can I be a good bard? then bless us with your gentle no ho holy uh spirit 
No! Soul? No. Spirit, your powers, your divine powers. Bother. I'm praying! Is, is that not how it goes? There's more than one? Shit. You, you didn't get it? I'm pretending to be a dog! Everyone likes dogs. You... You liked me? Oh, happy day! Behold! Mundane meddler, you step in the domain of a master speller, for I am to be the most mighty wizard! Wizard? W I Z A R D. Wizard! Wasn't it? Was it? Bum. Know any fiendish philanthropists? Fickle fay financiers? Eldritch employers? I want to make a pact. My soul? I have to give up my soul to become a warlock? I can't believe you tried to climb up one, you madman! Um... Um... Uh, um... Oh, hi! I didn't see you there. I was in deep meditation, see? Isn't peace and quiet just the best? I've decided to become a monk. <sighs> I'm gonna be the best monk there ever was! Narba seals his lips, but you feel the pressure of words behind them. The poor thing is straining, fit to burst. I can't do it! I have too much to say! You were right. I can't be a monk. I just want to talk. Talking's great. See, you can say words, make friends, tell everyone everything you're thinking and feeling. As he empties himself of his latest slew of thoughts, you take the opportunity to slip away. I'm in a fight. A real fight. They crush Boom! Bet you didn't even see me coming. I'm a shadow. A master of sneakery. A rogue! Oh, oh, I might be too good at this. What if no one ever sees me again? What if no one ever talks to me again? No! If not a rogue, then a ranger! I'm great at chasing things down! God damn it! Why are so many adventure jobs so lonely? I thought you were supposed to have parties! Perhaps the answer was deep inside me all along. An ancient spark of arcana. Yes, I was born to be a sorcerer. I can feel it. Let me, let me focus. I can feel the power deep within me. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. <clears throat> oh, oops, 
Dustin's chest. <laughs> uh. My liege, I swear to you an undying oath of absolute devotion. I am but your humble paladin. Really? But I'm ready to do anything. <laughs> These roles sure are restrictive, aren't they? Maybe the adventuring life's just not for me. I really like talking to you. There's not a lot of people that want to talk to me, so I brought you this present. Here. Now what are we going to talk about if not the adventuring life? Wait. What if I mix the classes? Darber, you genius! I, I got it. I got it. No thanks. Of course. Set your worries at ease. You're in safe hands. We need something. Everyone. But what I do not have, and never will. You underestimate me. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes, give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it, and you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now, you could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. Unsettling. I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid in your pocket out of your mind. It can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? I brought you here because I'm true to my word, and I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain 
blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days? Orpheus is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. No, Orpheus is the only reason you're still alive. The Emperor is abusing the gift for its own ends. And it's doing the same to you. You're nothing more than the beast of burden that will transport it to the Elder Brain. An ox requires food and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Shkaketh! You know Raphael holds the key to the Prince's freedom, and you turned away! Either go to Raphael and hear him out, or tell Vos you failed him and the Githyanki people. It will not be a pleasant reunion. Return to Raphael. We must hear him out. of your consciousness. The Emperor has been silenced once more. Here we are again. Have you reconsidered? Would you like to hear what I'm offering?
The Orphic Hammer, an artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus, is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. There it is. Of course. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. Better to have it in my hands, and far from your precious world, than in the hands of the gods and monsters that fight over this city's soul. Power, ancient and full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it, long centuries ago, and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky, like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world, and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her, I'd put the Hells in this bastard's hands. The Hells require order to function. It is what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, Efficiency, control. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. Hedden. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years, for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these 
chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? How short-sighted. Much better to put it into the right hands. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. I won't stop you, but time is running out, so don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting, right up to the moment the world ends. What's inside? you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? of him. What were the terms of this deal? Tell me, you turned him down. Good. I am glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, 
You cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. Voss, friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. Gith cards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes. And it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Tick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason, I promise you. A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik, even those in the Hells. You must find it. You are wasting your time, and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. Pleasure, isn't it? You will when you've met the drought. Oh, but I love honey! I love honey!
All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. should work.
way too big. I'm way too big. Open up. See what this does. Such as Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Aye! Aye! Aye. The council is...
appears to be resisting its masters. It's acting of its own will. I should speak up. If it isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. Another step forward. Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please hold a moment. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Of course, of course. My seal watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. All that trouble to get inside, and now Gortash invites us to see him. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Lord Gortash no, is, is expecting you. You've been doing? Please make your way to the audience chamber. To Gortash! Kinspeople, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravenclaw. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. We bide our time, but make no mistake, that monkey is mine. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak, come and say a proper hello. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up you! Ah, how I've missed your colorful turns of phrase. We must catch up, just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The 
quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. The likes of you stand to benefit from the likes of me. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here, so the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to, like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well... We need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. You look carefully. But discover nothing. What a shame to refuse the power of a god. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Let this be a warning. Orin 
is the spark in a powder keg. We make an alliance, or the city is made ash. I will give you time to reconsider. Tread carefully. Remember, you must do what it takes to survive, even if it means striking a deal with the enemy. Oh, but I most certainly are not. Now, come, be witness, as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Then allow me to peek it for you. Your brain twists and stretches under the Watcher's gaze. The pain almost brings you to your knees before fading. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished Dukes, Patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash, in all his glory. What did you make of him? Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. And if the Steel Watch can't protect us, what then? The Flaming Fist stand ready. With Gortash at the head, they can't fail. Raven Guard, you would give up the Fist's command? The Watch and the Fist must unite under one authority. Gortash is uniquely qualified for the endeavor. Under Gortash, the two will conquer the cult army and preserve our city and our heritage.
I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Unthinkable. To see my own father named Gortash, the sole ruler of Baldur's Gate. Please, we need to speak with him. Maybe, maybe he can see reason. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Gortash is to be believed, and even our camp isn't safe from Orin's influence. You might want to confirm the veracity of his claim, or at least clean up the mess. Changer at our camp. Hmm. Good luck finding her. Huh? You could watch out for anyone acting strangely, but, well, you know the lunatics we camp with. A true pleasure to watch you tell the Archduke exactly where to put his alliance. One cannot embrace a viper, only get entangled by it. And we learn something. One Chosen thinks to send us against the other, while they sit safe behind their defenses. Good. Gedrick thought he was safe, too. <sighs> there might be, but... Mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. Soldier? is an imposter then say nothing trust no one not even me an imposter in our ranks if this is true, it could be anyone. You, me, well, not me, I know who I am. Perhaps we shouldn't take Gortash's word for granted, but if he speaks the truth, we need to be careful. Orin could have eyes and ears on us right now. Dost thou require a new ally, or mayhaps a resurrection instead? The girl has left to hew her own path.
she left you a letter. Thou couldst read it, or thou couldst not. Such is the way of autonomy. Hast thou other business?